Hi, beautiful. What's going on? Today, we're watching some people go from black hair to orange hair. And if that sounds wild to you, then same. I've only made a handful of people orange in my life. Not something I usually see. People don't really come into the salon and ask for orange hair. They actually ask for the opposite. They're like, can you make sure my hair doesn't turn orange? For a select amount of people in this world, they actually want orange hair. And today we're gonna see what all the hype's about for that select group of people. And I actually didn't realize how popular orange hair was until I started searching for it on YouTube and there were just so many videos and I'm like, yo, why not just make an entire video about black to orange hair? So today we're gonna watch a few girls dye their hair from black to orange. I'm scared but excited. Let's do it. <laughs> So first up, we have Heather DeRoach, and this is called Dye My Hair From Dark Brunette to Intense Copper at Home. Let's see what happens, Heather. We've been on a bit of a journey with my hair since last year, I think. Have we? So what have we done? I uploaded a video um, dyeing my hair ginger, dyeing my hair for the first time by myself. Since then, I went from ginger to a bright red color, um, like a deeper red, and then to a really dark brunette. Um, since then, I've been trying to strip the dark brunette from my hair, and as you can see, it's now like this, well, it's still a dark brown, but it's a bit of a lighter brown colour. Um, and I've ultimately made the decision that I want to go back to being a redhead, specifically Yay! A I think that'll redhead. look really good on her. Um, I'm not the most tanned of complexions, um, I do have Scottish heritage, so I think I get my paleness and the natural red tinge to my hair from my dad's side of the family, so... Thank you, Derek, for that. I'm trying to get my hair back to this cut. We got the box dye and the box dyes. We got it, we got it, great. Previously on my hair to try and get it to that ginger color. But this time round, I wanna take it one step further and I'm gonna try and lighten it before putting the red on. Oh! Really color. Enter this bad boy. So, wait, before you all panic, um, I'm hoping I, I was already hoping panicking. It's not going to go as light as this lady on the box. No. So this product it's is the, not. It, uh, it definitely will not get that light. Blonde, um, and it's basically a lightning product. So this is designed yes. for light to dark brown hair. So my hair colour. And it's supposed to take your hair um, up to eight to nine shades lighter. Now, no. in my <laughs> experience of dyeing my hair or having other people dye my hair, um, whenever I put a blonde colour on it, it's never gone as light as what it has done on the box or it's, it, it would never go straight to this colour. It doesn't work like that. To get that light of a colour, it's sessions on sessions on sessions. Toning, it's bleaching, it's lightening, it's highlighting, it's a lot of stuff. It's not just throwing a box down. If it was that easy, don't you think there would be no hairstylists? Don't you think that? Do you literally think we walk into the color room, we mix a box out together and we put it on your head and we just plop it on and hope for the best? No, it's a lot more than that. What we're gonna do, and I'm gonna take you on this journey with take me. Take us on so the journey. By the end of this video, I won't be sat here looking like this anymore. I hope, but I'm hoping I'm not gonna completely ruin my hair. Phase one is gonna be to lighten it with this. And then phase two is gonna be to ginger it up with this. So this is the Garnier Olier uh, Intense Copper. Well, it's definitely a plan. Is it a good plan? Hell f no. Is it gonna maybe work? Yeah, maybe. Okay, we're mixing up the bleach. Mix it with a spoon. A spoon? A spoon, and I've already got the little brush. Here it goes, here's the application. Well, actually, she is using very small sections. She's starting on her ends and she's not putting enough lightener at all. <laughs> One day, somebody is gonna use enough lightener. I wouldn't even consider that like a coating of lightener. That's literally like just dried out lightener. That's not gonna do anything. It needs to be caked on. Come on, man, cake it on. Okay, oh, that's bright. Okay, I've took the cap off to have a little look. And it's so oh spotted. God. Very much so at the roots. Obviously the ends, they're not going to lighten as much. Um, it took me a little while to apply and after applying it, I've left it on for about another half an hour. It says to leave for 20 to 90 minutes. I'm not trying to go too blonde because obviously I'm going to put the intense copper on. Good idea. They have gone very They're blonde. like see-through. So I think I'm going to rinse this off and we'll see what it looks like underneath. Let me take the clip out actually. One second. Eek! Okay, 
Sorry. Yeah, obviously, it's going to be hard to see it at the minute because the dye is like still on there, but you can see it has lightened quite a bit. The roots very much so, but um, yeah. Yeah, see, now when you have pre-existing color and you're trying to lighten it again, it's gonna be very hard to do. <laughs> because, you know, there is already color lodged into the cortex of your hair. Very hard to get that out. It's much easier to get natural pigment out of hair than artificial, unfortunately. It's gonna be a struggle. <laughs> uh, yeah. It has lightened quite a bit, so I'm gonna just jump in the shower and just wash this all out, I think. Because this, I don't want to leave on any longer. No, we don't. We want to get the f off that head. Okay, so <laughs> okay. I uh, missed a crucial step in the application process, which said, wait 15 minutes before applying to your roots after you've applied it everywhere else. So wait. What? <laughs> the whole time that box dye that people use all the time literally says to not apply to your roots first. It says apply after you've done your ends and none of y'all read the directions. Nobody reads the directions. Not one person. We have fluorescent blonde roots and then the rest of my hair is like this like, oh. gingery color. Okay, so she blew dry her hair and now we're left with this <laughs> blonde root, orange mids, red ends, and that's gonna be kind of difficult for her to correct unless she's using two different box colors. Well, I wouldn't recommend using box color at all, but um, if she were to use a darker orange on the top and a lighter orange on the bottom, she would get kind of an even look because we're trying to counteract that lightness going on in her root and bring that way down. You always wanna have a darker root with lighter ends. That's what's gonna make your hair look nicer and more natural. By any means, but it has lifted the color for me. So hopefully when I put the red on, which I'm gonna just do in a minute now because I can't bother to wait for tomorrow. We're putting the orange box dye on now and you don't need that there are so many lifting agents in box dye that you don't need because you already lifted your hair with lightener, right? So why are you gonna then put a lifting agent on top of already lifted hair when you could just put a toner that has no lifting agents in it and it's just gonna bring your hair down to that tone you're looking for. She's applying, girl. She's getting in that in there. We'll see if this is gonna be enough to fix everything that's going on right now. <laughs> I don't know. I have a feeling that the roots are gonna be really bright. So we're gonna see how that goes. I did leave them till last to do in the hopes they won't be too fluorescent, but I think I've got everything covered. So we will see how it turns out once I've washed it out. Okay, I rinsed out. <coughs> I'm gonna go and dry it and see how it looks. I think it's gonna be a tiny bit patchy. I'm not. Ooh, tiny I'm bit, girl! Okay. Alright. I have a feeling that in a few weeks I might have to go back over this again just to try and even out the colour a bit more. <laughs> but there's a few kind of patches where I don't know if you can see like there and then a few here. To be honest with you, it looks a lot better dry, that's for sure. Um, patchy, yes. Fixable, yes. Let's look at it a little bit more and then I'll give you the breakdown. Quite blonde. So what I think I'm gonna do is I've gone out and bought another box of the copper. And like I said, my hair is really thick. <sighs> when it gets damp or when I'm dying my hair, it clumps together quite a lot. So, and I put the top, because I started from the underneath, the top layer obviously went on last. So I think I need to put a little bit more on um just to try and really cover this blonde okay so you join me for the finished result of my hair um let me move in. wait what just a little bit oh my um, god yeah, overall right let me start off with the elephant in the room um it would not curl properly possibly because my hair is just too clean you look Stunning with that color. I got rid of some of them dull patches where the color didn't quite take to the blonde yesterday. Um, so overall, it's a lot more of an even color. And um, I thought I'd come and sit here in front of the light just so you can kind of see it. So yeah, aside from how um, scraggly my curls are because my hair just didn't want to curl, I'm very pleased with uh, the overall Me result. Too. I'm really happy. It's very bright. Oh my God. 
Wow, how did we get here? <laughs> that looks so good. It doesn't even look that patchy. Like I can see a little bit, but honestly, I think it looks great. I don't know how we ended up here, but oh my God, her eyes look amazing with this color. Her skin tone looks amazing. She looks healthy. She looks vibrant. She looks like she's glowing. She looks great. I'm so happy for you, Heather. That looks amazing. You pulled it off somehow. I don't know how, but congratulations. All right, let's move on. Up next, we have Ruth the truth and this video is called dying my hair orange what the f ruth the truth let's see what ruth the truth does today i'm so excited like i've been wanting this color for so long what color what color is it orange it's orange adore you know i haven't really used that color line a lot but we'll see and this one is 56 cajun spice i'm gonna mix them together and i'm gonna get this bomb color like it better turn out right this <laughs> It better turn out right. That's all I'm gonna say. We'll see. We'll see. For the developer. Oh, we love for the developer. <laughs> so we're using BW2. <laughs> Also known as battery acid. I mean, I like I like BW2. It has its applications in life. However, BW2 is pretty much the strongest lightener you can use, and 40 volume is also the strongest developer. So that's a lot of strong. All in one is what I'm saying. I wouldn't use that, but all right. Probably 30 volume would have been better, but we can go with it. Not too bright, not too dark. I'm out how to explain it. Like a burnt orange brown. Oh. That's what okay. I'm I feel like you're gonna get lighter than that, but okay. And my head is looking real hot. Right now I'm just detangling my hair. Okay. So we are beginning with very dark hair, right? She's at a level four. Looks like her natural hair color, so that's good. At least we're starting with her natural hair color. It's a good palette to work with. Um, also, her hair is very curly, clearly very dry, and we're using 40 volume developer with a BW2. <sighs> okay, so she's mixing that shit together. She's sectioning her hair out. She's getting ready to apply it, and we're just going in. There's no technique. They're just going in. We are avoiding the scalp, are we? Are we? Oh, we are! <laughs> We love that. You know why, guys? Because the heat from the scalps processes and the color is faster. But we really need to just be taking out sections that are smaller than that, please. Next time, let's do a little smaller section. Oh my God. And she's gone blind. Great. I think I'm just gonna cry while I do this. Oh, no, 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 no. That's so not good. That should not be that strong. <laughs> Take sections next time. Ruth, the truth, needs to take sections, the truth. Oh, wow, okay. So we are developing, we are processing. It is looking quite blonde, actually. Does it look spotty? Yes. Does Ruth, the truth care? Yeah, probably. The processing cap is gonna make the heat stay in, make sure the lightener doesn't dry out. It's gonna be great. So I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna sit talk about, but I'm gonna just, I just wanna sit in the camera right now because, because. I look so bomb. <laughs> Me. I'm so scared because I'm really so tempted to cut my hair. Cut it. But I'm finna just say, forget it. End it all. <laughs> so I had this in for a good minute. I probably should have washed it out like a couple minutes ago, but I'm letting this look get to me. What is this look you're talking about? What bomb ass look do you have going on right now? You have lightener in your hair. It's not that bomb looking. I'm sorry, girl. My roots took the bleach better than the ends because. Oh! I Ha <laughs> ha! fresh. I'm gonna put more Cajun spice and cinnamon. Normally, I would be like, holy shit. I would say she's screwed at this point. But here's the catch today. She is trying to go orange and her hair is orange. When you're trying to go orange, you don't want to lift your hair past the orange state because why would you do that? Because you're trying to go orange. So you don't want your hair to be white or else when you put the orange on, it'll fade really fast and you'll end up with blonde hair. You want to just lift the hair to the orange state and then put the orange toner over it. So this is actually really good that her hair is still really orange um, because she's going for orange. Um, however, the roots definitely overprocessed, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Red or dark orange, bruh, I don't know. I think that'll be a good color. I'm actually really hopeful for this. I feel like it's gonna go very well. I feel like this is gonna look really good. I'm glad she's starting with her root. That way those process longer than her ends because her roots are really yellow and light and you wanna let that color sit on there the longest because that'll darken it the most. And it's always nicer to have a darker root and lighter ends rather than a darker ends and lighter root. That just doesn't look natural or right. This I feel like is going to be really good good actually. Her hair doesn't look that compromised. Her wave pattern is still intact. I promise it looks more orange in person. Like this camera makes it look 
braid. It looks orange. Okay, she washed it off, and now we're gonna see what's going on. Okay, I wanna see it dry, but her ends definitely look darker than her roots, but uh, we're getting a little bit of a Cheeto vibe going on, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> so. It still looks different, like, with this light and with this. It looks good. I just wish it was a little bit darker so far. Curls, but some butt, some period poop. Period poop. I like it, I do. I just wish the fruits were darker. I don't know. I'm gonna post some pictures because like for real, for real, it looks so different like, like in the mirror and in person than on camera. Okay. Because okay. It's more of a red vibe on camera and I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, at least she loves it. Am I obsessed with it? No. Ruth, the truth. Listen, you did a good job. Was it a great job? No. Could we have definitely done a bit of a dark root? Yes, but again, you win some, you lose some. I'll take it. You didn't totally botch your hair, so that's good. All right, our next video is by Lubia Combo. Wow, the names just get harder and harder. Um, This video is called Back to Orange Hair in Less Than 24 Hours. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Yubia. Just a quick Yubia. Video to how I got my hair from black to copper orange hair in less than 24 hours. We're using BW2 and 30 volume and Feria Box dye and Mane and Tail shampoo. Great, great. I mean, 30 volume and BW2 sounds fine. Actually, um, very a box dye, not so much. Okay, and her hair is very dark. Looks like it's been colored before, so we're lifting out pre-existing color. And um, hopefully she can get it light enough. <laughs> or is that all her real hair? No way, no way. No, oh, it's extensions. Okay, great. And her hair is broken. <laughs> And now we're gonna color it orange. Oh my god, wow. Literally her entire head was extensions. Oh my god! <laughs> what? This is bringing me back to high school when every girl would have like one inch of hair and the rest is extensions. Anyway, so we're mixing the lightener and 30 volume and we are getting ready to apply that. And now she's putting mane and tail shampoo in. So she is actually just doing a bleach bath. I don't think a bleach bath is gonna be enough to lighten her really dark hair to orange. I I mean, I don't really just see the point of doing a bleach bath like this. Uh, uh, actually, the title is Back to Orange in Less Than 24 Hours, so she did probably just put like a permanent color over orange hair last night. If the color molecules haven't really like set in fully, then she might be able to get it out with a bleach wash. Also, I mean, what happens when you put shampoo in bleach is it actually just dilutes it. So she's gonna bring that 30 volume down to like a 20 volume probably, and it'll probably still work. I don't know how much of that black she's really gonna get out. 30 minutes on the clock. Let's see what happens. Oh, it actually lightened a lot. Oh my God. Her poor hair though. Oh my God. And she's going orange, girl, like bright orange. I'm actually excited for this. I feel like this is gonna be pretty good for her. Okay, so she's using four different colors. It looks like one's purple, one's red, two are orange. I don't know. That's a lot of box dye. Would have definitely liked her to use a toner instead of permanent color over her already damaged lightened hair. Pointless to keep damaging it. You could actually just make it healthier with some toner instead of using permanent color, but who cares, right? I don't know. At least she's going in precisely and she's hitting all the spots. I actually think this is gonna look really quite amazing on her. We're coloring it away. We're coloring away. We're coloring our hair. We're doing it. We're doing it. Boom, 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 boom. Color it away. 30 minutes on the clock. Let's see what happens. Yes! Oh my God. I mean, the extensions obviously really help the situation. I'm so surprised at how much they blend, <laughs> but her color looks great. I really like the orange more on her than the black. It adds to that punk rock feel that she has. It's just like fun on her. I don't know. I really like the orange. I really like the orange a lot. I actually really like orange hair after watching this video. Great job, Lubia. Lubia? Lubia? Great job. You look amazing. Wow. And your complexion looks so beautiful and healthy with that orange hair. I love it. All right, you guys. <laughs> so those were some iconic black to orange hair transformations. We saw a lot of good stuff happen. We saw some bad stuff happen, but mostly pretty good, actually. I mean, most of the time people end up accidentally making their hair orange when they lighten it. So this was fine because they were like, oops, I made it orange and oops, I actually want to be orange. So it's fine. It ended up working out for all of them. They looks great. I'm happy with all these transformations. Nothing was really like too bad for me to be like, oh my God, like <laughs> what happened there? It's a good day here at the Mondo household. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Twitter, 
TikTok at Bradmondo NYC and follow my hair care brand X Mondo Hair for amazing, incredible hair products that will make your hair feel so good and look so good and look so healthy and feel so ugh, just luxurious. <sighs> I love hair care. And that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hi beautiful, this is Project X, our everyday conditioner. Project X is gonna give you that basic hydration your hair needs with all the necessary nutrients so it's still nice and fluffy, it's still beautiful and flowy, and has that lightweight hydration and shine your hair is craving. And this is Project X, our everyday conditioner.